I experienced many picturesque and interesting towns, villages on the path since the start of Minehead in Somerset, but this stretch between the Helford River and Plymouth has several in the 80 or so miles between the two. And keep your eyes open as this sequence includes possibly the best ever pub toilet sign. Despite the charms ahead, I chose to start this leg of the journey with a small detour through the delightful Glendurgan Gardens before returning to the coastal path and the very strange garden ornament. The first town encountered is Falmouth. Two ferries are required to cross the Carrick Roads. The first one from Falmouth to St Moors is a decent size, but from St Moors to Plas it's virtually a rowing boat. Bed for the night was at the delightful fishing village of Port Lou at the Ship Inn, a pub with the most perfect toilet sign. Then onward to Mevagissi. A six mile cliff walk takes you to the old China clay port of Charlestown.
Charlestown is followed by Foy, a further six miles on, with another river ferry to Pole Ruin. A seven mile coastal walk gets you to the very picturesque Polpero, closely followed by the now less picturesque Lou. From Lou, it's 20 miles to Plymouth along an incredibly scenic cliff path which winds its way to Down Derry and a refreshment break. Then round Rama Head and through the two neighbouring towns of Corsand and Kingsand to Kremel. The historic boundary between Cornwall and Devon used to be in Kingsand, denoted by this wall marker. Now the boundary is the Tamar River with Kremel on the west bank and Plymouth on the east. Here the ferry to Plymouth is boarded to cross the River Tamar into Devon. 